Welcome to Music with Mrs. Avery. I hope that you have been enjoying listening to Movement One of Spring by Antonio Vivaldi. Today we are going to look at a few music vocabulary words that will help you analyze what you are hearing. We are going to look at a few musical elements. Musical elements are the elements of music that make music music. The first musical element that we are going to look at is dynamics. Can you say dynamics? Dynamics are how loud or soft the music is. So if you are asked to analyze the dynamics of a piece of music, you would discuss how loud or soft the music is. Our next musical element that we are going to look at is tempo. Can you say tempo? Tempo is how fast or slow the music goes. So when you are asked to analyze the tempo of a song, you will have to think, does the music change speeds throughout the song or does it stay the same? Is the music fast or slow? And our last musical element that we are going to look at is instrumentation. Can you say instrumentation? Instrumentation is what instruments are playing. So when you are listening to a piece of music, can you figure out which instruments are playing? Let's say you're listening to a rock song. You might hear electric guitar, electric bass, keyboards, drum set. But if you're listening to an orchestra, the instrumentation is going to be completely different. You would hear violins, clarinets, trumpets, maybe tuba. So instrumentation is very important. So let's review our three musical elements that we learned about today. Dynamics, tempo, instrumentation. Can you say them with me? Dynamics, tempo, instrumentation. Today you are going to analyze Movement One of Spring by completing an activity in Seesaw. You can access our Seesaw classroom by following the directions in the lesson plans. You are going to listen to Movement One of Spring again, and while you are listening, I want you to listen for the dynamics, how loud or soft the music is, the tempo, how fast or slow the music goes, and the instrumentation, what instruments do you hear? And when you are completing the activity, you are going to describe what you hear under the correct category. A tree map is a really great way to organize your analysis because it's very easy to categorize each musical element. I hope that you enjoy listening to Spring again, and I can't wait to see your work.